Good midnight YouTubers, this is Pugetich here and welcome back for more anime previews and creature previews to share with all of you. So you probably may be wondering how come haven't I been inactive, you know, like I've been inactive on my YouTube channel lately, you know, since you know I've been uploading very few stuff that you may notice on my YouTube channel, but I'm still grateful at the same time that I have seen, you know, on the notifications that that uh, some of you uh, just recently subscribed to my channel, uh, you know, watching these videos of the old Kujis or the non-relating Kujis. Uh, thank you so much for you know watching them despite of my busy you know work uh, working hours lately. And I will try my very best to, you know, continue uh, making more of these anime or non-anime um, previews to share with all of you. Whether you're a otaku fan or non-otaku fan, like you're more of the Disney stuff or Cartoon Network stuff or relating more to anime stuff, I'm willing to share with all of you out there. Or maybe hopefully one day I could share with you some of my old drawings like this one up here behind me. Some of my chibi drawings and hopefully I could draw more to improve my drawing skills. So without that, further skip all those aside. And today's um, topic of the day that I like to share with all of you that I actually done this um, Kuji last month. Although this Kuji was released on April 27. Yes, April 27 if I get that correctly. And this one is one of the anime I have not watched. Just to be honest with all of you, I have not watched it but I heard some people they said it's really really interesting. So hopefully I could watch that. And this one is none other than the Ichiban Kuji. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. So you may be wondering how come I did not watch this anime. If those of you did watch it, yes, I'll try my best to watch this because out of curiosity, many of my friends tell me or suggest me to watch this. So this really gives me the curiosity and hopefully once I have the time or if I have enough energy, like after a tiring day at work at the Hong Kong airport. Hopefully, I have time to, you know, watch this. I do apologize. Um, I don't know why my nose is itchy. But anyways, before I will show you my live reaction that I actually pulled this one on May 11. That was last month. Kindly take a look on the price list right here. As you may see, these are the following top prices. They are like 4 top prices or top 5 because uh, generally all of them are really really interesting. As you can see, there's 2 uh, figures and then the big uh, plushy or pillowy that's the 30cm. And then there's even a smaller size of the E price of the um, of the slime but different facials. And then the D price, uh, shikishi or visual arts in English. There's three kinds, and then the last one price is the uh, different pattern of the D price, and then for the F and G price are the rubber straps, but of course in blind boxes. So without further ado, everyone, kindly enjoy my live reaction right now.
after you have seen my live reaction so I actually done like nine pulls so originally I want to do um, three pulls but then I decided to go for nine because mainly I wanted to get uh, are actually the e price but at uh, the but I didn't expect it that on the very very first pull I end up getting is one of the top prices which is the C price that many many people here eventually in Hong Kong prefer to get the C price plushies rather than the A and B price of the figures so I was really really surprised that I actually got the C price on the very first pull that I was actually more attracted to the E price than the C at the beginning but then afterwards I feel like okay the C is actually not bad so I feel like I just want to keep the C price because it's very squishy and very cute which I'll show you that one at the last since I normally like to go for the you know show you the price from the lowest price to the topest price which I like to do it from you know lowest to top price that's my way if those of you are new to my channel that's how I do this when it comes to Kuji previews if I do the live reaction if not then I'll go straight away to show away the certain price so first of all I will show you the G prices which I got here for them to show you that it's legit so this one how it looks like for the G price on the package you can see all the informations of the Kun Kun company the Ichiban Kuji logo G price and then there's total of eight kinds sorry for the blurry and then the Bandai, we kind of forget that. And then the logo of the re reincarnated, reincarnated as a slime. Then at the back of the box, you can see there are the following eight of the characters. You can see these four are the same, but just different poses and one with the slime. And then the other four main characters. So I really don't know uh, which one I really want to get. But if you may ask me, I would like to get is the slime because it's very, very cute. But I'll be surprised if I end up getting, you know, all of the these four for this line I'll be surprised if that ever happens so right now let us just focus and see which one will I get so let us open first the very first box so on the very first box which one will I get in three two one oh so the very first one we got is this character and then squishing along with this slime ball very um, interesting you can see the the detail on this character very very cute and then at the back we can see the company uh, logos right here which I don't need to explain and this is a rubber strap if those of you are curious that so that's to prove you just to prove it that this is definitely a rubber strap so carrying on to the second box it feels a little bit light so I'm not so sure so let's see in three two one oh okay I didn't expect it but yes we got it's the slime ball that's very very cute I definitely really really want to keep this so cute and many people really really likes to get this one more likely than the other characters which I don't know why but I'll find out soon when I get the chance to watch this anime okay so carrying on to box number three which one will I get in three two one Oh, and we got this character. Um, looks like a demon dragon dude. I'm not so sure, but I'm just being creative. Let's just say we call him a dragon guy. Just to be, you know, politely, instead of calling him a demon, just say he's a dragon. Because of the color that looks like it represents the dragon. And it's somewhat made me call of this Kwame. Like, if those of you did know the latest um, news about um, the Maracas Ladybug, if those of you do does know about that cartoon, that Dragon Kwame. It kind of looks like this. I don't know why. You can see the resemblance. Yeah, let's put that aside. We're not talking about uh, Marcus Lady Bag out of nowhere. Sorry about that. So now let's go to our last box. And this box is even more harder to remove. So be careful. I'm trying to be careful not to damage my fingers. Okay, so the last box. Will I get a duplicate or separate? in three two one oh so surprisingly i have no duplicates so we see here is the blue guy with a horn it's a summary it looks like a summary because of judging by the way it's outfit let's just call it it's like a green ninja like the pokemon of rocky's final evolution it somewhat looks like this i'm just being creative again so we have already four straps which is very different so I'm just glad to have the slime ball right here. So we have four very different ones to show you. There's no repeat at all. I have 
officially have 4G prices. And now let's carry on to the F prices, which I only have two in my possession. And the people here, they actually prefer the girl, the one in pink right here, rather than the other characters, which I don't know why. Need to find out once I get a chance to watch it. So let me open the box once more. So in the very first pack, out of two uh, F prices, which one will I get? In three, two, one. Okay, so the very first character, we have this blondie dude. Yeah, it looks like a blondie dude. Why it makes me call of a uh, house moving castle? Like, you know, this howl right here. He looks like that, but this was more of a evil version of howl. No offense there, but it has, kind of looks like. But yeah, the very first one I got is this lookalike howl. More of a evil version. So carry on to number two. Which one will I get opening this box? And it's really, really irritating and hard to remove this box. It's really hard. Trust me. Okay. I didn't pick. Trust me. I did not pick. I did not pick. Which one will I get on this final F price pack? Wait, where's this drop? I can't feel it. That's strange. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I can feel it now. I was wondering where is it? <laughs> Alright, so our final pack. What is this? In three, two, one. Oh! Oh, we got stone that many people really wanted. This is where this pink girl actually hugging this slime ball. I don't know why, but okay. Oh, I think I get it because of its sexy pose. Which. Oh, yes. Yeah, her pose is somewhat a little bit sexy, even though despite it's a chibi version, but you can see right there, the slime is being, you know, hugged by her and then her. Um, I'm not gonna say it, but you can tell it. <laughs> I gotta admit it, it's cute, but I just at the same time feel um, pity for the slime for being, you know, um, you know, being suffocated by the way she, you know, this character hugs it. It's very funny, but I'm glad to have get, of course, two separate, um, you know, two individual straps, which there is no repeat. So I'm glad to have separate, you know, um, straps, very different straps. So now down to three more prizes. So the two E prizes that I got is these two. One is this face right here, and one is this face. So the other facial expression is the one with the um, chibi, aligned with the blushing. But because that one was so popular, I had no choice but to get these two. So it's a good thing there's no duplicates or I didn't get more than e, uh, more than 3 or 4 E prices. So I was lucky to get 2 E prices and just to get these two E's right here. So I got to admit it, they're very very cute. But I will plan to sell one of them. And it's this one right here. So I'm going to sell this um, I think around let's say 85 to 100 Hong Kong dollars because I did spend a lot on you know one ticket for that amount to you know how many prices so it's already expensive. So I'm going to keep this in the right condition like that and if you may tell me about the um, material wise uh, if you can see right here this is the kind of a material you can see there so once I squish it it's like that you see some, some uh, stretch marks there. So it's easy to get damaged. So be careful if you have these kinds of um, you know, these kinds of things with you, especially if you have like kids, like they like to poke these guys around. They easily get damaged or worse of all, if the kids has markers to draw them on, these things will be gone literally for good, like literally gone in a bad way. So if you want to keep this in a separate area, number one, easy to keep it in a case like this, like I'm doing right now, or number two, display it somewhere safely around your area to make sure that your younger sibling or younger cousins or niece will not damage this away from you so I will definitely sell this one because right here I'm definitely going to keep it because it's still cute even without the blush it's still still very adorable and yet it's squishy so so cute look at that very very cute so putting these two aside so I just had to make a, a mark that I had to sell the other one so now to the mumbo jumbo and final prize, which is dun, 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 the C prize right here. So yeah, this is the C prize of the plushie to show you the official 
see price right here that's been shown on the tag itself so I was really surprised to see this and yes just to let you know there was a little mark right here when I was trying to get the price and then I noticed that this has a mark that I want to change but then I realized that it's not really a big deal for me because even you know with a small mark or without it I still find this very very cute and um, should I open it to you guys? Uh, I need to think about it please hold on I still can't I can't resist it I have to take it out so after uh, getting out from the plastic right here, it's not that hard, it's just very easy. It's not really as squishy as the one right here behind my back. This one, if you remember that I done this pull like two years ago or almost two years ago of this Alphonse squishy A price thingy that's from the Mina no Kuji, not the Ichiban Kuji. This one is extremely cushy, like the Kirby uh, Mochi that I actually directly buy. Is this really really squishy? I could you can tell it's just go back to its normal self like that. So putting that down the side. But this one, the material on this is like even though you can squish it, that's really good. But the material wise, it's not like very comfy as the one the albums right here. This one is more of a this kind of material. Easily to get damaged and this kind of material, I don't know how do you explain it, but if you look clearly on this material, you can tell that these ones easily get damaged. That one is a lighter uh, lighter filling, textured smoothing, but this one is more of a rough filling. If those of you who knows about these kinds of materials, like you do some, you know, uh, making plush or clothing like that, then you may get the picture what I'm referring to. But detailing wise, the way they stitch this, making it, you know, angry like this serious face. Take what I'm doing. Yes. It's very, very cute. I gotta admit it with a serious face. Mmm. Staring contest. It's still very, very cute. And yep, this one is the tag right here. To show that I got this C price on the very first ticket out of nine pulls. Originally, I wanted to do three, but like I said from the other just a while ago, I wanted to get the E, but when I saw the C, well, just keep going until I got the E price. So I'm grateful to have went to that store rather than what I normally go because where they normally um, do this ones nowadays they sell um, they put the price very ridiculously expensive because mainly because of the rent is getting higher, so they had to make the price a bit high, which is ridiculously insane. But I have no, I I can't do anything because that's their decision. But anyways, this is so squishy, not too squishy, but you know, very huggable to do, swing around like this. So anyways guys, in my conclusion, these prices are really, really cute, very, very um, nice, uh, well made. Even though I did not get the figures, but I'm glad I did not get the figures at the same time because in fact, I have too much figures and there are some figures I can't even fully display them. They're stuck up there, all the way up there with the box, or there's well, like a one figure box that they don't have the box, I put them all stuck in together, which is not a good sign, but I have no room, so I had to do that. Some of them, it's been stuck in my cabinet, where clothes I put my clothes at that area. I cannot even put them. Even some figures that's rated like showing the boobs already or the butt, I can't show it to my knees. That's the problem. So I had to put them or hide them somewhere that my knees will not be so nosy to look at them, which is very dangerous. So. I'm just glad that even I didn't get the you know the figures or the shikishis, but whatever the prices I want from this theme of the day of the reincarnated SX9, they're all really good prices. So, anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video of the day of the Ichiban Kuriji of the day, I you know um, what's that name again? <laughs> the time I got reincarnated as a slime. That's really a long name. Let me know in your comment section below which one of these prizes do you like the most, whether, it's a, whether it is in my possession or it's one of the following lists that I just showed you before my live reaction. And if you guys are interested on the E price of this one, this face, but the E price of it, the smaller version, um, if you're really really interested, uh, feel free to direct message me on my Instagram account but not here direct message me on my Instagram account. It's the same username on this YouTube channel as mine. So 
If you did enjoy it, feel free to give this video the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more anime previews and creature previews in the later future. So until then everyone, see you all in the next anime preview.